Right now, when we're developing drugs, we have two tools at our disposal. Animal testing or cells in dishes. Because animals aren't humans, they're often failing to predict how humans will respond to drugs. And because the cells in the dishes don't work like they do in the human body, they're not very predictive either. What is the underpinnings, the mechanism of the actual biology? This has been the missing link, right? You can look at what happens in a person, you can see what happens in a petri dish, but what happens in between? The patients that need the drugs, that need the medications, aren't getting them. So we need a human-relevant system that will allow us to better predict how humans will respond to medications, to foods, and to chemicals. We are changing how we're going to look at biology. We're trying to emulate human biology, right? And so the way people have thought about biology in the past is sort of as these single cells or these clumps of cells in a dish. And so we have to think about it from a bigger system view. So how can we recreate that in a way that has meaning back to the whole human body? The first step is that we really have to be true to the human body. We call these organ chips. Each chip is uh, engineered to create the right environment for cells to feel like they're within the human body. The chips provide the mechanical forces that are critical for the cells. When you breathe in and out, you can feel the forces that the cells experience as your lungs expand and relax. There is also the flow of blood that creates a dynamic environment and brings in nutrients and takes away waste products. All of this taken together allows us to recreate the microenvironment that the cells need so that they can behave just like they do in our human body. But then once you've done that, then, then you have to see it, then you have to be able to ask questions. You know, we really have this window into the inner workings of human biology. When you stick this thing on a microscope and you look in there, and all of a sudden you're in this whole different world. You have white blood cells flowing through and you have, you know, small intestine villi and, and you have bacteria. Seeing that, watching it, getting some intuition about it is, it's awesome. The organ chips that we're working on include the intestine, the liver, the lung, and the brain. We're working to model um, different diseases, such as neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, asthma, as well as inflammatory bowel disease that affects so many people. We can sample the fluids uh, running through it, so it's really like we can do a blood test on the chip. The very same test that a doctor can run on you uh, in the clinic, we're able to run on the chip itself. So if we're able to put patients' own cells inside these chips, we could really begin to understand how a specific food or a specific drug could affect that patient as an individual. As we've been building this technology, and we've been really focusing on this idea of a human emulation system. The human emulation system comprises of the chips, the instruments and the software apps. We make it easy for researchers to use it. So you don't need a team of expert engineers to work with the technology. And by doing that, the discussion then becomes about the biology. And it becomes about the better medicines, the safer food, chemicals, consumer products. It becomes about how those things impact your health, my health. I love cells, I'm passionate about cells. I've loved cells from the first time I looked down a microscope and saw them. 
And now the excitement comes from the fact that we have a technology that enables us to gain understanding into the biology that wasn't possible before.